here I am in the Stephen Joseph's Theatre here to see another Isolations Creations Drag Bingo. We Take Come and join me. Ordered myself a thick one in the park. Not quite sure what to have next. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. The flight is about to Black and white, you get it? Black and white, please. So who 
do we think it is, D from Hull? Yeah. Surprise, surprise, you're right, <laughs> I helped myself to an orange and I helped myself to an oxo cube. I guess I was so eager to eat the orange and the oxo that it all blended into one. And I thought, oh, I like this. Doesn't that look fabulous? Mmm. Mmm. I've tried, it's quite delicious. <laughs> if you come along to our Wig and Sling Back weekly shows, it's full of that sort of trivia. <laughs> all right, so Steve, you've won a beautiful plate. A plate of your choice. Now, so choose wisely. We've got this one. Get your knobs out for the girls. We've got one there that says a lovely pair of plump tits. We've got one there that says a nosy see you next Tuesday. Wet pussy at the back. Look at that little pussy with her umbrella. Suck up and piss off, that pussy's saying. Another wet pussy. Just a singular wet pussy there. Wet beaver here. That beaver splashing about in that damn steam. All for the coat and no knickers kitten. And while he chooses, I'd like to let you know that these were made by Royal Dalton. <laughs> well, from the factory well outlet shop. Which one do you well choose? Nosy c <laughs> Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Give Steve a massive round of applause! He's down for a full axe. The seco's out. All right, though. So. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carl. Happy birthday to you. All correct. Right, <laughs> <laughs> my love. I'm gonna have to do this just because. We're moving you from first class through, so let's just do a quick check. We're all right. Let's have a look round the back. We're all right there, round the front. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, my darling, we've all been there. All right, so I'm going to leave your card up here with your, is it your husband, your carer? <laughs> Friend? Lover? Yes. This week. All right, there we go. There we go, my darling. All right, so. Right, my darling, you don't have to do nothing to get a prize. You just get a prize for getting that full house. Uh, who wouldn't want a Phil Mitchell oven glove? <laughs> We've got a signed Jane McDonald poster. <laughs> Jane McDonald. Ma massive round of applause for Catherine. Oh, I'm forgetting myself. <laughs> Catherine, come back, I'm forgetting myself. Something very special happens to winners. So, Massive round of applause for Catherine! I'm going to meet people. I've got multiple choice questions. Yes. So we're going to go. Let's let's start here. Hello, my darling. What is your name and where do you come from? I'm from Toronto, Canada, and my name is Karen A. Oh, it's yeah. Karen! You've come quite far, haven't you? Yes. That took the wind out of my sails a little bit, knowing you come all that way. What, what must you fucking think? <laughs> all right, so... Now, Karen from Canada. Why do you want to be an air hostess with Spread Eagle? Well, I love to satisfy. Very good. Oh. <laughs> Welcome on board. Right. Karen, I've got a multiple choice question for you. So, what is the recommended way to address a passenger when they arrive on a Spread Eagle flight? Multiple choice, Karen. Hold your ponies. A. What are you looking at? B. Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. C. Hello, sexy. Or D. Oh, nasty blouse. So, A, B, C or D, Karen? I think it's B. You think it's B? Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. Oh, you must be choked. You must be choked. <laughs> <laughs> it's what are you looking at? <laughs> All right, well done, Karen. Let's move on to the next person. 
So, what do you want? Why do you want to be cabin crew? I want to travel the world and make people happy. Travel the world and make people happy. We only do here in cost of, cost of living. <laughs> well, um, well, with what you're wearing, you're only wearing that if we crash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Richard. Question for you, Richard from Liverpool. If you notice a passenger is having trouble finding their seat, what should you do on Spread Eagle Airways? A. Give them the directions and point them in the right direction. B. Charge them extra for showing them to their seat. <laughs> C. Tell them it's not friggin' rocket science, the roads are numbered. Or D. Tell them to use their phone's GPS. B and C. We have to, I'm gonna have to it's narrow you down for one. B. B, charge your max. That's correct. That's the correct answer, Richard from Liverpool. All right, next person. Hello, what's your hello? Look at this, turn round, my darling. You are all oh, hello. <laughs> I tell Did... you what, don't let my cunt see that. You've got the job. Crazy. Well, what's your name and where do you come from, my darling? I'm Sharon, I'm from Wigan. Sharon from Wigan. <laughs> Now, Sharon and Wigan, I always say this about Wigan, but it's true. Wigan butties. Do you know what one of them is? Like a, a bat with a pie inside it. Mika knows, and she's from Hull. A pie in a bread cake. A delicacy. All right. Sharon, why do you want to be air hostess on Spread Eagle? I love cleaning up vomit. Good, nice. We do that there, couldn't we? Yeah, we are. So Sharon, what's the best way to handle a passenger who's having an allergic reaction? A. Ask if there is a doctor on board. B. Just close the curtain and finish your bag of dry roasted peanuts. C. Use your EpiPen on them, Pulp Fiction style. Or D. Leave it to the other passengers to sort out. B, close your curtain and finish your bag of dry roasted. You would think that, Sharon, but it's actually C. Use your EpiPen on them, Pulp Fiction style. We love it. We love a bit of Quentin. Mika, what's the best way to deal with a noisy baby? <laughs> Offer earplugs to passengers nearby. B, tell the parents to shut their fucking baby up. <laughs> C, sing it a little lullaby. Or D, just get all the cabin crew to join in and cry along. <laughs> hmm. Well done, <laughs> Mika. Yeah, so. Who have you got it for you? We've got you. All right, so, Lynn from Scarborough. Hospitality is in your blood. Sadly. <laughs> oh, sadly, she says. Honestly, I wish I could travel like you, you know, just wear anything. Ladies and gentlemen, so we have a lot of Karens on board, so you're going to be marked on your comeback to the Karens. So, Karen, what do you want to say? Can you bring me some blankets because I'm getting cold and these are so thin and flimsy. Can you please bring me a proper blanket like the ones to give out in business class? And can you make sure they're not polyester? I have sensitive skin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you hear that? No, let's, let's... Hello, hello. The answer was, ask your wife to lay upon you to keep you warm. <laughs> Very yeah. well done, Karen. So, Richard, let's have a look. Who else has got a car down this end? Or oh, down here. Let's go down here. What do you want to say? You're pushing that button like there's no tomorrow. Don't you know who I am? I'm a spread eagle pattern flyer. Can you upgrade me to first class to free? Did you hear that? I did indeed. Oh, she sounds like royalty, doesn't she, down there? So what's your answer? Get frigged, you paid £3 for this flight, you're sitting where you're sat. <laughs> well done. Well done. I couldn't put it back to myself. <laughs> Mika, you can get eye contact with this, Karen. I like, I like staring at down. What, what do you want, Karen? <laughs> I specifically requested a window seat. But now that's in the view. <laughs> I realise it's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's just clouds. <laughs> Can I switch to an aisle seat? Oh, oh. Did you hear all those dramatic pauses? It's <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not Chekhov. Sounds <laughs> like Alan Bennett. So much boring. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Mika.
Cart, who's gonna sit down? <laughs> Take your seat, my darling. <laughs> and the final showdown is <laughs> the safety demonstration. So you've got the life jacket, you've got the safety card, you've got the buckle, and you've got the face mask. Flange is gonna do the announcement. Okay, are we ready there, Karen? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this afternoon's flight. To fasten your seatbelt, please make sure that your metal plate goes inside the little metal buckle. To release the belt, simply lift the little metal plate and put it back in the little metal buckle. In front of your seat, they will find a, 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 a card. <laughs> yep. On this card, some important information about the number of equipment devices. If we should have some turbulence or anyone pressure in the cabin, oxygen mask will fall down off of your head. Please take the mask, stop screaming. <laughs> when you stop screaming, place the mask over your head and the plastic elastic band around your back of your head. <laughs> Under your seat, you'll find that there's a life vest. Life vest. Now the life vest, simply place it over your head. That's it, over your head. <laughs> and now that the wrap wrap the tapes around your waist, then click it together. The life will inflate by pulling the red tabs, or you can inflate the rest yourself by blowing through the pink tube. Don't pull the tab! <laughs> and there we are, well done, Karen! <laughs> Let's face it, Richard, you've won this, all right. <laughs> so... It might be a different order. It might be a different order, Richard. Richard. Now, Richard, before we start, where are the emergency exits? There are three of them. Have you noticed them? No. Oh, no here, no. here, and here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's have a look. So, Richard, off we go. Safety demo. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Skybound on Airways and Rolling Road by Cross Spiders. Please take your seat belt and as you can see, you can fasten the little metal plate and put it in the metal buckle. Put it around your waist and Yay. put it tight around your hips. And to release, simply place the little metal plate around the metal buckle. <laughs> if we should have a block of some pressure, oxygen masks will fall ahead from above, above. So to operate, simply stop screaming. Place the mask over your mouth and your nose and the plastic band around the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> In the seat pocket uh, in front of you, you'll find the information card. This shows you all the exits and the location of the safety devices. Under your seat, you'll find there's a life vest. So if you place a life vest over your head, over the head, wrap the straps around your waist and put in tight. You can inflate the mask, the mask, inflate the vest by pulling on the red tabs, or manually inflate it early Sorry. by blowing down the big pink tube. <laughs> Well done, darling. All right, so, well done. We need more international. Can you speak French, Karen? Um, peu. Can you speak any other languages? No. No? All right, it's all right. We want a bit of cock on board, so you've got it. <laughs> but, Karen, we want you to be on board as well, so we're going to give them both. Right. <laughs> Trolley Dolly Badge. Thank you. Air Steward Little Scarf. Thank Air you. Stewardess Little Hat. Thank you. And Brandy Cobbler Glasses. Thank you. There we go. Well done. So, ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause as they make their way back to their seats. this lovely hat and we've just been given a lolly ice. What more could you want in the summer sun? Ooh. My next drink here and it's called a fudge packer. Really? We're so sorry about this. What's your name and where'd you come from? Hi Brandy, I'm Lau, I'm from Sleazy Jet Flight 301 and I get turbulence. We're very sorry about that. <laughs> but Sleazy Jet unfortunately can't bring it all together. Eyes down. Bingo game number two. 
So it's family fortune. Sit your hand in the air when you have an answer. So the first one, name something that gets sandy when you're on the beach. And the hand was up here. You can steal it, she can Miranda. Your hands, he says. What you say, Sharon? Your feet. Ping! Ping! <laughs> All right, Sharon. Answer. Does your team want to play or pass? Play! Play! You want to play? You might be able to steal. So, I'm going over. So, I need those four of you are going to play. Who's playing? Hands in the air. One, two, three. One more. Woo! So, name something that gets sandy when you're on the beach. Spanning. <laughs> so what, what do we say? <laughs> 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 Sandwiches. Oh. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. No. Sandwiches. No. One more air. Steal it. Something that gets sandy when you're on the beach. Bum crack. Bum crack. Another fabulous time with the isolation creations just off back to our hotel um, yeah absolutely brilliant even won a prize how amazing is that um, I'm walking the streets of Scarborough you can probably hear it I've still got these on and I'm with Sharon Sharon is dressed as a cabin crew or is it a member of the German SS one and the same if you fly Lufthansa if you know you know 